For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to determine the force in members AF, BF, and BC and state if the members are in tension or compression. So for this, we're going to use the method of sections. Basically, what you want to do is you want to pick the three members that you have to find the components and you want to cut the truss right there. No more than three usually is the rule. So basically I'm going to redraw the top of this truss. We don't care about all this, but we care about this. We have a line and like that and we cut it right there. So you have a force going to the right and another force going to the right. So I'm going to assume that this one is going to the left. And let's assume both of these go down. I know one of them has to go up, but let's just assume they both go down so we find with a negative sign and you get a little practice on that too. So basically you know that right here F, sum of the moments at F has to be equal to zero. So let's assume going clockwise is positive. <clears throat> so at F, remember we assume this one's coming down, this one's coming up. And this one's coming down, that's what we assume. So at F we got the moment being created by this four Newton force, and we have the moment created by the member C B, this force right here. So only two components. So some of the moments at F is equal to the moment created by the 4K, which is 4K times the lever arm it turns, which goes from F to here, and that's a distance of two meters, and it turns it clockwise. So it's times 2 meters, plus also CB, <coughs> which turns this lever arm that goes from F to C, also clockwise, so it's positive. CB times 1.5. 1.5 is the distance from F to C. And all of that is equal to 0. So when you solve for CB, you get that CB is equal to negative 5.33 K Newtons. Obviously, because it's negative and we assume that it was going down, you know that it's not going down and it's actually going up. So let's put CB is equal to 5.33 kilonewtons going up. And let's put it that we corrected it on the diagram. Corrected. So we don't get confused later. So. That being said, we gotta find uh, this angle right here. Let's call it theta. Actually, let me make a new page so I don't have so much of a mess. And let me correct that. Okay. Remember this one we discovered it was going up. So we gotta find this angle theta. Now theta is equal to the tangent inverse of the opposite, which is two meters over the adjacent, which is from F to C is 1.5 meters. So it's tangent inverse of two over 1.5 and comes out to be 53.1 degrees. That being said, we got the sum of the forces in the X is equal to zero. In the X, we got the 4K and the 8K and we got the member FB going to the left. So 4K plus 8K minus FB times the cosine of theta, obviously because we have an angle, and all of that is equal to zero. We have theta, which is found right here. So as you can see, we have only uh, one variable, which is FB. So you can solve for FB and you get that FB is equal to 20K Newtons. And it's going up and this one's going down. So it's obviously in compression. And I don't know if I told you about CB, but CB, if it's going up and that's going down, CB, which was 5.33K Newtons, is obviously also in compression. Just pointing it out.
Now we only have one more. Sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. In the y we have uh, AF coming down, so it's minus let's call it FA plus F B sine of theta plus C B and that's it, we got no more other forces and all of that is equal to zero. We got C B, we got F B, we got theta. So we gotta do is plug them in and solve for F of A and I mean F A and F A comes out to be 21.3 kilonewtons and it's positive so that means that our assumption was right and since our assumption was right f of a is in tension so final answer for f of a final answer for f of b and final answer for cb using the method of sections please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help Thank you.